Whoa, new GPUs already? Let's talk about it. Ooh, that's right, we got even more exciting tech news today, guys, and this time you might want to make sure you're on the toilet before you watch this one because it might just squeeze it all out of you. That's right, we're talking about not only new GPUs coming up, we got another very exciting story that I want to start off with. It's definitely going to be a huge deal for the PC gaming market, so definitely get those eyes glued right onto your phone, and if you need to bring your entire desktop into the bathroom, go ahead and do so now. But with that out of the way, since you got your desktop straddled between your legs, let's get into that first story where yes we will be talking about the next generation of CPUs and even if you're very satisfied with your current CPU and you don't want to upgrade I seriously suggest sitting through this entire first story guys because this is very very exciting stuff for the whole PC market that's right we're going to be having new CPUs coming out from Intel that are going to be targeting an absolutely insane over 50% performance per watt increase over their current CPUs oh my god now this information comes from the Twitter leaker one Ryachu who's stated, quote, the target of Meteor is to realize 1.5x plus efficiency compared to the Raptor when it has the same performance, same core processor P plus E. So yes, that does mean we're likely talking about 8P cores and 16E cores once again, but getting over 50% higher performance per watt if this leak turns out to be true, which is very, very exciting stuff. He then goes on to say about iGPU, I think it maybe will reach almost 2x performance levels. And then he states that apparently it's gonna have 120 execution units at two gigahertz plus versus 96 EUs. And then in the WCCF Tech article, which I originally found this, they go on to state that Meteor Lake CPUs might get twice the GPU performance boost thanks to the new TGPU or Tile GPU architecture, which will incorporate the new XE GPU cores. And then they go on to talk about how Raja Kadori, who works for Intel, stated that Meteor Lake CPUs will be utilizing a new tiled Arc graphics powered GPU, which will make it an entry new class of graphics on a chip. It's neither an iGPU or DGPU and is currently regarded as TGPU or tiled GPU slash next gen graphics engine. The Meteor Lake CPUs will utilize the brand new XE HPG graphics architecture, allowing for increased performance at the same level of power efficiency as existing integrated GPUs. This will also enable, and this one's a big one guys, enhanced support for DirectX 12 Ultimate and XESS features that are only supported by the Alchemist lineup as of right now. So this is very, very exciting news, guys. I am clenching up as we speak because not only are we talking about far more efficient CPUs coming out from Intel, which is greatly needed because although they do have the performance lead on desktop, they do seem to be a little bit behind when it comes to performance per watt, at least in those multi-core scenarios. They actually do have very good performance per watt when it comes to gaming, but once you start loading up all those cores, yes, it does start to get a little bit dicey when it comes to the power you're gonna be driving. Drawing. So it'll be very good to see if Meteor Lake can improve upon this at over 50%. That would be absolutely fantastic. And even more exciting is the 2x plus uplift we could be seeing out of the integrated GPUs. But now let's go ahead and talk about something very, very exciting, guys. And that's that there's new GPUs already. We just got some. How could this be? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at this. So something very exciting happened today. A bunch of new graphics cards are hitting the market. And yes, Yes, they have massive performance increases over the last generation. These things are absolutely insane. Some of the biggest performance increases we have ever seen. So let's go ahead and take a look at some benchmarks. Now, this one is from Hardware and Box, and we can see here that this new GPU is indeed a massive performance increase. It can be up to over 70% faster than their last generation counterparts in some scenarios and at 4K on average, about 58% faster so yeah that's definitely a huge deal now the gpus in question are actually a whole new series from the rtx 40 series 
for mobile SKUs. Now, I know a lot of people here are majorly into the desktop scene, but I do think we got to talk about mobile stuff, guys, because it's starting to get really, really good. So the RTX 4090 mobile is not only able to achieve an insane up to 70% plus performance increase over the mobile 3080 Ti, but on top of that, it's doing it at between 150 to 175 watts. And guys, this is a huge deal because it means that laptop gaming is getting significantly faster. And on top of that, you won't have to have a massive power brick on some of those more power efficient laptops, which I do think is going to be a huge deal. And I can't wait to get my hands on and hopefully test some in the future because this is going to enable new gaming experiences for a lot of people, as well as again, much better portability and battery life, which is going to be probably one of the biggest issues we are facing with laptops over the last couple of years. Now, if you want to know what these GPUs are based off of, the RTX 4090 is based off of the 8103 chip. So the same one that we're seeing on the RTX 4080 desktop has 9,728 CUDA cores, a boost clock up to over two gigahertz. And apparently it's going to be configured between 80 to 150 watts. Although it looks like potentially it could be configured slightly higher if you want even more performance then you have the rtx 4080 mobile that one's based off the 8104 die or the same one that's being used on the 4070 ti it has 7424 shaders and it also has 12 gigabytes of g6 which i forgot to mention 4090 has 16 gigabytes so that's actually pretty good on a 256 bit bus this one's 12 gigabytes on 192 bit bus and will be configured between 60 and 150 watts and allegedly we're getting a 4070 mobile on 8106 which is going to have 4608 cores 8 gigabytes of g6 on 128 bit bus between 35 and 115 watts the 4060 mobile on the 8107 with 3072 cores with 8 gigabytes of g6 on 128 bit bus between 35 and 115 watts and then finally the rtx 4050 mobile on on the 8107 GP with 2,560 CUDA cores, six gigabytes of G6 on a 96 bit bus and a TDP between 35 and 115 Watts. And I think once again, taking a look here, what we're gonna be seeing is the sweet spot will likely be the RTX 4070. If you can get that configured at around 100 Watts, I do think you'll be getting decent power efficiency and also a massive performance increase over the previous generation of GPUs. And plus getting all the AV1 decoding support and all that sort of stuff. I do think this will make a massive difference when it comes to the laptop scene. So it's very, very exciting and interesting to see a new generation of GPUs hitting the laptop scene that could be bringing massive, massive performance and efficiency increases for all those millions of people out there, me included, who use a laptop regularly. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.